Testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Hey, hey, hey. What's up, guys? We're back. <laughs> so, uh, this last week was wow. Well, not the last week, the last like 10 days have been uh, incredibly interesting. Um, first of all, I want to thank you all for your wishes. Uh, they were really, um, um, what's the word, heartwarming, and uh, I, I really. They put a smile on my face knowing that there's a lot of people out there that, that care about me and about the, the content that we create for you guys. So thank you. Thank you very much. And um, I wanted to start this new uh, month. Today is October 1st, I believe, when we're publishing this video. I'm recording it one day uh, before. And uh, we want to start this new month just, just sharing a little bit of the story of what happened, a little bit more uh, of the details. So um, as some of you know from the last video that I published from my bed, I was out of circulation for a while. Um, last uh, Tuesday, uh, Tuesday, September, what was it, like 23 or something? Um, I was, no, not 22, 21. I was about to record, actually. I was sitting down, I was about to record, and I started experiencing some very um, uncomfortable pain on my abdomen. At first, I thought it was just like something that I ate or something, like just, you know, sometimes you get sick from, from street food or something. And, uh, but no, it was something worse. So I waited a couple of hours before going to the hospital. My wife and I uh, went to the hospital. Uh, we have a baby, uh, she's very small. She's only five months old. So uh, the whole thing was really, really um, uh, stressful for all of us, right? Because we, we needed to have someone to take care of her and we needed to go to the hospital. I was, I was feeling really bad. And uh, after doing some uh, exams and stuff, they found out that my appendix was in a really, really bad shape. It was not, it did not burst, which I know that's a very like a uh, uh, life-threatening uh, condition when your appendix uh, like breaks and it just spills everything in your in your uh, cavity. It's, uh, it's very bad. Uh, but unfortunately it was not that bad. Uh, they kept me under observation for the whole night and in the morning, first thing in the morning, they got the operation. So uh, they did the surgery. Um, the, the thing is not about the surgery. I, I don't really want to talk about the surgery or the recovery. It's just, uh, it's just you know, medical stuff. I actually want to talk about something that I, my doctor told me about. He was very, uh, I wouldn't say angry, but he was very stern about being like, hey, man, your work, your line of work is very dangerous for the body because you're standing or you're, you're actually, I'm standing right now, by the way. I'll explain why in a second. Uh, but you're, you're sitting down on the computer for more than eight hours every single day. It's a very uh, sedentary, I think that's the word, uh, a work. And uh, it's very intensive, so you need to take care. And he gave me several lectures throughout the days. Uh, he gave me his uh, recommendations, his advices. And I want to I wanna share them with you guys because uh, as, a, as an instructor, I think it's, it's, it's only fair that I share not only the, the 3D knowledge that we have, but also a little bit of, of health uh, things. Now, I'm not a health professional. I'm not going to be able to give you a diagnosis or anything. But I'm going to give you the advices that he gave me, which I believe are very, very healthy. First of all, and that's the reason why I'm standing up, he recommends that we use a standing desk. Uh, he says that being on our uh, on our ass, even though that sounds very bad, uh, sitting down for a long period of time, it's gonna be very, very, it's very uh, bad for our body. Uh, all of our like abdomen and stuff gets very lazy, our legs get very lazy, and uh, it's just not useful for us. So I actually started working yesterday. I, I was able to start doing some activities here and I've been using this standing desk. And it's very helpful. It actually even increased my productivity a little bit. I think it kept me uh, focused a little bit better. So um, so yeah, I strongly recommend if you can get a setup where you can have a, a standing desk, uh, it's really good. It keeps you active and uh, it's just uh, it's just good. Diet is another one. I'm I'm not the best person to give you advice about diet. I'm a little bit, not a little bit. I'm quite overweight, not like super, super overweight, but I'm not in my fittest form. I used to weigh a lot, lot less than what I weigh right now. So yeah, if we're going to be sitting down eight hours a day, 10 hours a day doing the things that we love, doing the 3D, then it's very important that we take care of our body. So Takis, goodbye Takis. We're not gonna be able to eat Takis in a while. <laughs> so yeah, that's the second one. And then he mentioned two other body parts that we as artists uh, get injured or injured very, very frequently. And uh, again, I wanna give you this uh, little advice. Uh, just just uh, 
uh, paying it forward, right? Making sure that if uh, I got all the way to the surgery, you don't get there and you can do a little bit of a prevention. Uh, it's, it's always the best medicine, right? Prevention. So the second one is the eyes. Um, looking at a computer screen, looking at your cell phone screen all the time, it's very tiring for the eyes as well. And unfortunately, we can't avoid it, right? Like that, that's our job. Our job is to be looking at the screen, uh, looking at the computer and making sure that we uh, deliver what we're asked for. Uh, so the exercises and very cool exercise, very small, simple. He says every single, every hour or every 45 minutes, just pause your, uh, whatever you're doing, move around, like turn around and try to focus on something that's long, a long distance, distance away. Like maybe look through the window and, and look like at the mountains or like a, a like a far away tree so that your eyes, uh, kind of like focus at different depths and then do that for a couple of minutes. And then look at something that's like at a medium distance, like a door, a car passing nearby. And again, do that for a couple of minutes and then back again to something that's really close because that's the problem. We're always focusing on something that's really, really close. And that puts a lot of strain into our eye muscles and that eventually I'm not there yet. And hopefully I will never be, uh, but eventually you might need like a, a lot of like a very a big lens for something or a very uh, big glasses for, to see far away. So it's very important to start seeing like those three distances, like far away, uh, medium range and then close a range and that way your eye is going to exercise all of the muscles that it has and that way you're not overworking some of the areas and last but not least the hands very important about the hands i didn't know about that uh well i, I did knew but I, i've never experienced any sort of pain in my hands and uh, but he said that that usually happens after you're like 35 or 40 years uh, after using the computer for so long, you might get like the carpal tunnel. So doing some very light exercises with the hands is, is good, like a little bit of warm up. Uh, having this sort of things, just like cushions on the on the keyboard and mouse, are also helpful. And uh, yeah, just like doing stretches every now and then. I have a friend who's actually a physical therapist, and um, and he recommended doing like this sort of like stretches. You can look them online. Like if you look in, in Google, there are like this sort of like stretches like this, and then like this, and then against the wall, and then the other way. So there's just some couple of exercises that you can do. And finally, and this might be something again super simple, but just standing up and going to the bathroom, going for a cup of uh, water, uh, going and doing something else uh, rather than staying on the computer for long periods of time. It's recommended apparently that you do that every hour. Uh, so just take that as an advice. Hopefully you guys are gonna get a little bit of this. I know this is not the usual uh, 3D stuff that we do, um, but again, it really, I, I wasn't scared because the doctors were really, uh, they were really good and they explained the situation and everything was under control, but I was like bumped out, you know, like, like personally, I felt like, man, I, I shouldn't have gone all the way to this point. You know, it's like when, when you know you screwed up, when you know you, you didn't do enough to, to keep yourself, uh, like in a good level, like I knew I was being, uh, disorganized, I was being lazy and I wasn't doing what I was supposed to be doing to, to, uh, take good care of my body. And, uh, that's the bill and it wasn't cheap <laughs> either. So uh, yeah, that's my, my two cents for you guys. Uh, this is my uh, coming back video. So we're back October 1st. We're starting a new month. This month is Halloween, of course. It's a terror month, it's a horror month. So we're gonna be doing some very cool stuff about that. I'm also uh, going back into working on our premium courses. Uh, they were on, on a hiatus for now, but now we're back and we're gonna start working on them again. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments, what kind of things do you wanna learn? There's a, a lot of new stuff. There was a new uh, Zero Shop with some small features added, 2021.7.1, 20, I believe. Uh, there was a new Maja update, I think. I think they did update Maya. It was just bug fixes mostly. Uh, we can do a little bit of After Effects. I know some of you guys like that video as well. So let me know in the comments what you want to see and I'll be happy to follow through with those uh, promises. So that's it for this one. I'll see you back tomorrow. Bye-bye.